네, 메가 선생님 오늘은 누구 이야기 들어볼까요? Today we have a clip sent to us from Kayla from the USA. 케일라 씨를 한번 불러볼 텐데요. 케일라 씨는 또 어떤 재미있는 사실을 공개해 줄지 전혀 예상이 안 되죠. <웃음> 한번 불러볼까요? 케일라 씨, 나와주세요. 나와주세요. Hi everyone. So something the viewers at home might not know about me is that I actually lived in Russia for quite a long period of time. Um, I'm not Russian, I'm American, but I was a double major in university and my second major was in the Russian language. So I ended up studying abroad in St. Petersburg University and lived with a Russian host roommate. It was a girl the same age as I was and we did so many things together, ate and cooked and traveled and it was a really great opportunity for me to learn about the Russian culture and the language and the people. So I am so grateful to her for that. But if anyone else is thinking of going to Russia, either to travel or to you know, study or to even live there, I totally recommend it. It was amazing. The people are so kind. And the city, St. Petersburg, was just beautiful. So definitely recommend it. Ah, wow. 그렇군요. I definitely wouldn't have expected that. 네, yeah. 러시아에 오래 살았다고 하는데 사실 몇년 살았다라고 이야기는 하지 않았지만 right. she just said a long, a long period time. of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 그래서 뭐몇년 정도는 됐겠죠. At least three years. I think so. Yeah. I would say three years. Yeah, to be able At to least. say. Yeah. yeah. Long, right? Mm-hmm. 자, 그러면 한줄한줄 한줄 공부하면서 어떤 이야기였는지 같이 보겠습니다. Okay, so the first thing she says, like always, Hi everyone! So something the viewers at home might not know about me is Hi everyone. So something the viewers at home might not know about me is 네, 여기에 재미있는 표현 나오고 있어요. 인사한 다음에 viewers at home. Mm-hmm. 이거 이제 그냥 TV에서 많이 하는 말이잖아요. Yeah, of course. You viewers at home. Like we're viewing but we're not at home. Mm-hmm. So, when people are talking to the people watching TV, we always usually call them viewers. 그렇죠. Viewers 그래서, at home. 맞아요. 집에서 보고 계시는 시청자분들, mm-hmm. 집에서 시청하시는 분들께라고 할때 뭐, 방송 진행자들이 게스트를 불러다 놓고 이야기하면서 So do you have anything to say to the viewers at, at home? home? 이렇게 mm-hmm. 집에 있는 이 사람의 집에 있는 사람, 가족들 말하는 게 아니고 mm-hmm. Just anyone. Right, anyone who's watching. Yeah. Right? And the reason that these days people don't say this as commonly is that people are not only watching TV from Home. From home, right. These days, because we have so many, you know, mobile devices, it's very easy to watch things on the go. 네, 그래서 the viewers at home이라는 말 자체가 우리 말에 집에서 시청하시는 여러분이라는 것처럼 많이 쓰였다가 mm-hmm. 요즘에는 TV를 TV 자체를 꼭 텔레비전으로 집에서만 보는 게 아니니까 right. 좀덜 쓰이는 경향이 있지만 mm-hmm. 그래도 워낙 많이 굳어진 표현입니다. Mm-hmm. 그래서 집에서 보고 계시는 여러분들이 might not know about me. 저에 대해서 모르실 수도 있는 것은 is is that I actually lived in Russia for quite a long period of time. That I actually lived in Russia for quite a long period of time. 사실 제가 lived in Russia, 러시아를 그냥 러시아. 러시아어는 Russian. Russian. 러시아 사람은 Russian. Russian. Yes. <웃음> for a long time in the long time을 long period of time, mm-hmm. 오랜 기간이라는 말을 넣었는데 뜻은 mm-hmm. 똑같죠? Mm-hmm. 그리고 꽤 오랜 기간, quite a long, long period of time. Mm-hmm. 이렇게 말했습니다. 그래서 mm-hmm. 오랫동안 살았다는 거예요. Mm-hmm. And? And she says, I'm not Russian, I'm American, but I was a double major in university. I'm not Russian, I'm American, but I was a double major in university. 네, 그러면 사람들이 혹시 are you Russian? 이렇게 생각할까 봐 mm-hmm. I'm not Russian. Mm-hmm. I'm American이라고 했는데요. I'm not Russian이라는 말에는 두 가지 의미가 있어요. Mm-hmm. 하나는 저는 러시아 사람이 아니라는 말이고요. Mm-hmm. 다른 하나는 저는 러시아계 미국인이 아니에요 라는 말이에요. Oh, right. So a lot of Korean Americans mm-hmm. in the States, mm-hmm. they say sometimes, I'm Korean. I'm Korean, right. But they were not, in, not born in Korea. Right. So we know that they're Korean American, but they just say, you know, what they are. 그렇죠. Right. 특히 미국처럼 아니면 미국이나 캐나다, 호주, 뭐 유럽처럼 yeah. 다양한 어, 인종이랄까요? 아니면 민족? 인종이라기보다 mm-hmm. 민족이 모여 사는 나라일수록 친구가 이탈리아 가본 적도 없고 이탈리아어 한마디도 못하고 mm-hmm. 그리고 뭐 부모님도 아니고 할아버지 쪽 그냥 한 분, 할아버지 right. 한 분이 이탈리아에서 오셨던 분들도 그냥 I'm Italian, I'm Italian. 이렇게 말을 하는 거예요. Yeah. I thought you were American. 했더니 
뭐, 나도 미국인인 줄 알았는데? 라고 했더니 uh-huh. I mean, my grandfather was from Italy. Italy. Right. 이렇게 조금만 그 어, 민족이 섞여 있어도 uh-huh. I am Italian, I'm Korean. Uh-huh. 심지어 이렇게도 말하죠. I'm Italian and I'm also Korean. Yeah, I'm Italian Korean. 음, 이런 뜻인데요. 여기서 말하는 것은 그냥 국적을 말하는 겁니다. Uh-huh. 그리고 I was a double major in university. 대학교 때 이중 전공 학생이었습니다. Mm-hmm. Okay, so moving on to the next one. She said, and my second major was in the Russian language. Mm-hmm. And my second major was in the Russian language. 그리고 저의 두 번째 전공은 이중 전공이었으니까. Mm-hmm. 첫 번째 전공은 다른 거였고 두 번째 전공은 was in the Russian language. Why did she say in here? In? Because your major is in something. Mm-hmm. You could say my major was, but because she said the Russian language, mm-hmm. then she had to say in. Mm. Because it's in that, that topic, that category. 그렇군요. 사실은 이게 더 자연스럽게 여, 여겨진다고 하더라도 우리가 영어로 학습자 입장에서 썼을 때는 mm-hmm. my second major was the Russian language. 이게 더 mm-hmm. 먼저 떠오를 거거든요. Mm-hmm. Is that wrong? Say? It's not wrong. I mean, I think they're both right. But when you say in the Russian language, it means, ah, uh, you know, it's something regarding the Russian language. Mm-hmm. But maybe that wasn't the name of the major. Because it could be like Russian cultural studies or Russian, you know what I mean? There's several yeah. names. Great point. So when you take out in, when in is there, it just means it's like the topic, what mm-hmm. I was saying before. And not the name of the major. Megan, smart analysis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 아주 <laughs> 멋진 분석이었어요. Uh-huh. 사실은 저도 궁금했던 건데, My second major was Russian, the Russian language. Mm-hmm. 이렇게 말하는 것과 in the Russian language. 사실 의미 차이 크게 나진 않아요. Right. 그런데 in이라고 한 거는 그 분야를 전공했다는 것이고 yeah. was the Russian language 하면 그 전공 이름 자체가 the Russian language. Right. It was, yeah, it was just studying the Russian language. But there's so many different things that could be related to it that, yeah. Great point. Mm-hmm. I knew you were smart. Oh, thanks. 다음 문장. <laughs> so I ended up studying abroad in St. Petersburg University. Mm-hmm. So I ended up studying abroad in St. Petersburg University. 그래서 저는 결과적으로 어떻게 하게 됐냐면 studying abroad 하게 됐습니다. 유학을 mm-hmm. 하게 됐습니다. 어디에서? 상트 페테르부르크 대학교에서. St. Petersburg. <laughs> Much easier in English. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. 네, 상트 페, 어, 페테르부르크 대학교에서 유학을 하게 됐고요. Mm-hmm. And the next sentence, we're going to take a look at the clip. Let's watch. I lived with a Russian host roommate. It was a girl the same age as I was. And lived with a Russian host roommate. It was a girl the same age as I was. Okay, so towards the end, there was something a little bit fast. So let's take a look at it. And lived with a Russian host roommate. It was a girl the same age as I was. 발음부터 보자면 it was a girl. 이 부분이 발음이 빨랐죠. Yeah, it was like it was a girl. It was a girl. It was a girl. Isabel? Is that her name? The roommate's name? Isabel? <웃음> <웃음> 그런 건 아니었고 it was a girl the same age as I was. Mm-hmm. 뭐 지금도 나이가 같겠지만 그 당시 이야기니까 그 당시에 저랑 동갑이었던 여학생. 과 함께 살았었는데 mm-hmm. lived with a Russian roommate라고 하면 러시아 사람 roommate죠. Mm-hmm. But what's a host roommate? So in the case of a host roommate, it's like they already had a place and they're kind of hosting you to their country, showing you around. Mm. So it's more or less just two people who are like, hey, let's live together. But mm. hey, come to the country, I'm going to show you around and take care of you. 그렇죠. Yeah. Host의 이제 반대 말에 해당되는 게 guest잖아요. Right. 호스트는 주최하고 초대한 사람 그리고 음. 거기에 초대되어서 가는 사람은 게스트인데 음흠. 손님인데 호스트 룸메이트니까 사실 그 집이 그 친구 거일 수도 있고요. 음흠. 원래 그 사람이 거기 살고 있는데 케일라 씨가 move in 음흠. 들어가서 너네 집에 살게 해줘서 고마워. 음흠. 내가 월세 낼게. 이런 경우가 바로 호스트 룸메이트죠. 오케이. So why don't we listen to that two more times? And lived with a Russian host roommate. It was a girl the same age as I was. And lived with a Russian host roommate. It was a girl the same age as I was. And she said, and we did so many things together. Ate and cooked and traveled. And we did so many things together. Ate and cooked and traveled. 네, 둘이서 정말 많은 걸 함께 했는데 
We ate together. We cooked together. Mm. We traveled together. Together, together, together. 다 반복되니까 빼버리고 mm-hmm. 심지어 we도 빼버렸어요. Yeah. Ate. We do that a lot. Yeah. Ate and cooked and traveled. 또또 하나 빼고 싶다 그러면은 mm-hmm. 처음 나왔던 and 빼도 돼요. Mm-hmm. Ate, cooked, cooked and, and traveled. traveled. 이렇게 하시면 되겠죠? Mm-hmm. 전혀 문법상 문제가 없는 문장입니다. Right, and the next one. And it was a really great opportunity for me to learn about the Russian culture and the language and the people. And it was a really good opportunity for me to learn about the Russian culture and the language and the people. 네, 문장이 좀 길어서 yeah. 끊고 싶었지만 끊을 부분이 적당하지 않았습니다. Mm-hmm. 한번 자세히 설명드리면 And it was a really great opportunity. 정말 좋은 기회였고요. For me to 뭐뭐뭐 mm-hmm. 제가 뭐뭐 할수 있는 mm-hmm. For me 형태가 보통 이제 주어를 그 행동의 주어를 가리키고 mm-hmm. to learn mm-hmm. 배울 수 있는 건데요. 뒤에 나오는 것들이 나열될 뿐이죠. Mm-hmm. 첫 번째로 배우는 거는 러시아 문화를 배우고 두 번째로 배우는 것은 the, the language. language. What language? The Russian language. 네, 러시아어죠. <웃음> And the people 사람에 대해서 배우는 건데요. 이, 여기서는 좀 혼용되었어요. 섞여 있지만 원래 you say learn the language mm-hmm. 언어를 배운다고 하고 learn the culture 보다는 learn 보통 about, about the culture라고 the culture. 하죠. Mm-hmm. 그리고 사람들에 대해서도 learn about the people. Mm-hmm. You don't learn the people. No, you don't learn the people. Of course you learn about them. Mm-hmm. 네, 그런데 여기서는 about이 맨 앞에만 나오고 중간에 다 mm-hmm. 빠져 있습니다. Mm-hmm. 자, 그럼 다음 문장. All right, let's take a look at the clip. So, I am so grateful to her for that. So, I am so grateful to her for that. Okay, so the end part was a bit fast, so let's take a look at it and read it together. Mm-hmm. So, I am so grateful to her for that. 네, 이렇게 말했죠. So, I'm so grateful. 이것이 오늘의 핵심 문장이었는데, to her for that. 여기가 쭉 연결됐어요. To her for that. Yes. Want me to do it? Yeah. To her for that. <웃음> 여러분 한번 해보세요. To her for that. 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 이렇게 됐는데 <웃음> 전혀 다른 표현으로 들릴 수도 있지만 yeah. To her for that. Mm-hmm. 자 그러면 그녀가 누구죠? Who's she? Her Russian host roommate. 그러면 for that, that은 뭐예요? That is for showing her around, cooking with her, eating with her. That's right. <웃음> For hosting her, hosting her basically, <웃음> for letting her live with her mm-hmm. 이런 말인데요. 그래서 그 점에 대해서 그녀에게 정말 고맙게 생각한다라는 말을 어, 이렇게 이야기했고요. Mm-hmm. 다시 확인하겠습니다. So I am so grateful to her for that. So I am so grateful to her for that. And next, she says, but if anyone else is thinking of going to Russia. But if anyone else is thinking of going to Russia. But if anyone else, 저 말고, 저는 다녀왔지만 mm-hmm. 저 말고 anyone else, 다른 누구라도 is thinking of going to Russia. 러시아에 가려고 생각하고 계신 분이 계시, 있다면 또는 mm-hmm. 러시아에 가볼까라는 분이 계신다면 mm-hmm. 뒤에 나오는 내용은 아직 안 나왔고 일단 think of doing something 자체가 mm-hmm. Are you thinking about having done it before? 전에 했던 걸 생각하는 거예요? 아니면은 계획인가요? You're thinking of making plans to go there. Yeah. So it's something that hasn't happened. It's something that you want to do in the future. That's right. Right. So in reality, mm-hmm. for real, I'm thinking of traveling with my parents mm-hmm. sometime this year. Hmm. Somewhere far. Right. So I'm thinking of it. Right. But you didn't fully make all the plans yet. 맞아요. Right? I didn't buy the plane tickets yet. Right. It's just a thought. 그렇죠. Right. 생각 중인 거죠. Mm-hmm. So is there anything that you're thinking of doing this year? Well, this year I'm thinking of visiting my friends in other countries. Ah. So I would like to go to Australia. Yes, because finally. Because <laughs> finally, for sure, yeah. I might go. Okay. But it's still just a thought. That's right. Just thinking. So maybe not. Mm-hmm. 자, 그래서 이렇게 그 생각하고 있는 것을 thinking of, to be thinking of 라고 하고요. Mm-hmm. 넘어가 볼까요? Mm-hmm. Let's take a look at the clip. Either to travel or to you know, study or to even live there, I totally recommend it. Either to travel or to you know, study or to even live there, I totally recommend it. Okay, so let's read it together. She said, either to travel or to study or to even live there, mm-hmm. I totally recommend it. 네, 완전히 추천한다고 이야기할 거예요. 정말 추천합니다. Mm-hmm. 그래서 
저 말고도 anyone else 혹시 if you are thinking of going to Russia mm-hmm. 목적을 뒤에 나열하고 있죠. either to 이 부분 either만 익숙하신 분들은 좀 어려울 수 있어요. Mm-hmm. 네. either or either either is fine. Mm-hmm. 네, 둘다 괜찮은 거죠. <웃음> 그래서 <웃음> either either 다 괜찮고 either to travel or to study or to even live there 뭐 여행을 하고 싶어서 유학을 하고 싶어서 또는 심지어 거기 살고 싶어서 러시아에 가려는 분이 계신다면 I totally recommend it 이렇게 mm-hmm. 이야기했죠. 정말 추천한다고 하네요. Okay. I really want to go visit. So do I. Yeah. All right. Maybe I changed my mind. I'm thinking about going to Russia maybe this year. <웃음> maybe. Right. I'm not thinking of going to Russia yet, but maybe next year I will try to visit. Okay, sounds good. So why don't we listen to this sentence two more times? Either to travel or to you know, study or to even live there. I totally recommend it. Either to travel or to you know, study or to even live there. I totally recommend it. Okay, so how else was it? It was amazing. The people are so kind and the city St. Petersburg was just beautiful. It was amazing. The people are so kind and the city St. Petersburg was just beautiful. 방금 이 부분 앞에서 I totally recommend it 이라고 하자마자 It was amazing. 정말 좋았다. So what was amazing? Visiting Russia. Yeah. Russia. Her ex- trip to Russia. Yeah, her stay there was amazing. Mm-hmm. The people are so kind. 사람들 정말 친절하고. The city, Saint Petersburg, was just beautiful. Mm. Saint Petersburg 시는 정말 아름다웠어요라고 mm. 그 추천하는 이유를 말하고 있죠. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's move on to the last mm-hmm. line. So definitely recommend it. So definitely recommend it. 네, 아까는 totally recommend it였는데 mm. 여기선 바뀌었죠. She changed it to definitely. Definitely. What's stronger, totally or definitely? Uh, they're both the same in my case. Yes. Right now. Mm. It depends on how you say it. So sure. totally recommend it. So definitely recommend it. 그런 경우라면 <웃음> totally가 훨씬 강한데. Of course. 제 생각에는 totally를 더 강하게 말하기. 쉬운 것 같아요. Right. It's easier to exaggerate a little I bit think with so. totally. I think so. Yes. So definitely recommend it. 심지어 주어도 쓰지 않고 있습니다. I definitely, I 말하지 않고 그냥 definitely recommend it. Mm-hmm. 이렇게 이야기하는 것이 마지막 문장이었고요. Mm-hmm. 전체 내용을 처음부터 끝까지 한번 복습해 볼까요? All right. Let's watch. Hi, everyone. So something the viewers at home might not know about me is that I actually lived in Russia for quite a long period of time. Um, I'm not Russian, I'm American, but I was a double major in university and my second major was in the Russian language. So I ended up studying abroad in St. Petersburg University and lived with a Russian host roommate. It was a girl the same age as I was and we did so many things together, ate and cooked and traveled and it was a really great opportunity for me to learn about the Russian culture and the language and the people. So I am so grateful to her for that. But if anyone else is thinking of going to Russia, either to travel or to you know, study or to even live there, I totally recommend it. It was amazing. The people are so kind. And the city, St. Petersburg, was just beautiful. So definitely recommend it. Hi, everyone. So something the viewers at home might not know about me is that I actually lived in Russia for quite a long period of time. Um, I'm not Russian, I'm American, but I was a double major in university and my second major was in the Russian language. So I ended up studying abroad in St. Petersburg University and lived with a Russian host roommate. It was a girl the same age as I was and we did so many things together, ate and cooked and traveled and it was a really great opportunity for me to learn about the Russian culture and the language and the people. So I am so grateful to her for that. But if anyone else is thinking of going to Russia, either to travel or to you know, study or to even live there, I totally recommend it. It was amazing. The people are so kind. And the city, St. Petersburg, was just beautiful. So definitely recommend it. Thank you, Kayla. <laughs> yes, thanks for that recommendation. I'll, because of your story, I'm now definitely thinking about going to Russia. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 자, 그럼 재미있는 표현들 또 소개하러 가볼까요? It's time for street. Smart. Smart.